Welcome back guys. Uh, in the previous video we looked at part 2 where we stopped at question 6. So we're just going to simply pick it up from there. Now in question 7 it states base m raised to the 1 third is being multiplied. Remember this raised dot means to multiply. Is multiplied by base m raised to the power of negative 5 upon 6. Now and that's all being divided by the base m raised to a half okay now remember uh, from earlier lessons when multiplying indices of the same base we're simply going to add the powers so what this is really saying my friends is that I have a common base M and I'm just going to add the powers I have one third one upon three and I'm adding to that and notice my friends I'm adding a negative I'm adding a negative five upon six okay five upon six let's just write that a little bit better upon six and let's put that in a bracket now this is all being divided by m raised to the power of a half okay now remember my friends uh, when working with directed numbers okay since we have a positive and a negative sign clashing remember the negative sign is always dominant when you have two different signs clashing in this case the negative sign is dominant over the positive sign okay so really what I have left here is m raised to the one third one upon three that is being subtracted okay so I would have to say subtract five upon six okay my friends now simply I'm just going to calculate my fractions notice my denominators are different so I'll have to find the LCD which is the lowest common denominator and that would be six okay my friends because three can go into six without leaving a remainder and six can go into itself so three into six goes three into six goes two times so i'm going to multiply my numerator by that two so i'm saying one times two that will give me a two there and i'm subtracting i'm taking back down my sign there and i'm saying six into six goes once and i'm multiplying my numerator by that five one ones will give me five okay now two minus five this would be, leave us with a negative three upon six okay my friends now remember all of this is all over and i'll just rewrite it there remember all of this was in my numerator it's only my numerator i have evaluated the powers now remember all of this is all upon m raised to the power of a half okay so really what we have left over here my friends and let's just write this uh, properly so you can see it we have a m and the power it works out to be negative 3 upon 6 so we have a m raised to the power of negative 3 upon 6 and that is all over m raised to the power of 1 upon 2 a half now my friends essentially what it, what we have left over here we can just simplify our power in the numerator 3 into itself goes once okay and 3 into 6 goes two times so really in our numerator what we really have up there we have a m raised to the power of negative 1 upon 2 that's what is left in my numerator and that's all over that's all over let me just change the color m raised to the power of a half m raised to the power of one upon two okay now if you notice my friends what we have here we have the same base so and we are dividing indices of the same base so we can just go ahead and subtract the power so essentially what this is saying i have a m raised to the power of negative one upon two and since I'm dividing indices of the same base, I will have to subtract the powers. So that subtract one upon two. Now, if you notice, my denominators are the same. So I can just simply go ahead and calculate my numerators. This is a negative one and a negative one minus one will leave us with a negative two. So really what this is saying, I have a base M, base M raised to the negative two upon two. Okay, guys. Now that can be simplified. I can say 2 into itself goes once and 2 into itself goes once there. So this really implies that I have a m raised to the power of negative 1. Okay. And we all know that we can write that as a positive index. And when that is written as a positive index, we're just simply going to flip this. This is m to the negative 1 all upon 1. Okay. So I can just simply flip that by saying this is 1 upon m. Let's just pull that out a bit. 1 upon m raised to the positive 1. And that's our answer. Okay, my friends? It's pretty much that easy. Now, let's look at question number 8. Let's just pull this over a bit so that we can have a little bit more space to work with. Okay? 
think that should be good enough. Now, in question eight, my friends, uh, this is pretty cool. Now, remember, we have the root, and this is the square root of w multiplying the square root of w to the third power. Now, if you remember uh, the fractional rule, this would be pretty easy. Now, remember, when you don't see a number out here, my friends, it's as if you have an invisible two there, okay? So I'm just going to put that invisible two there and I'm going to put back one right there. Okay, my friends. So remember when, I'm, when you don't see a number out there is like you have an invisible two. Now, if you remember the fractional rule and if you're not sure, you could always go back and you can watch rule six or property six of exponents where we taught you about the fractional rule. Remember when a base is written in third form, it can also be written in be written as a fractional index and what I'm simply going to do I'm going to say W here is raised to the power of one okay so what what I can do here I can say this is my base W I can just rewrite this in another way and W is remember my power of W here which is one is going to go in my numerator and the root is going to become my denominator okay and this is multiplying my friends and again I'm going to take my base W and I'm going to write it as a fractional index also so the three here as my power will become my numerator and my root here root 2 will become my denominator now if you notice we have a common base and we have indices here we have we are multiplying indices of the same base so essentially when multiplying indices of the same base as we as we have as we have done before you go ahead and you simply add the powers so I have a common base W raised to the power of a half and I'm simply going to add the next power to that okay which is 3 upon 2 okay my friends so this implies this really implies that I have a common base W and if you should look carefully if you should look carefully at the powers, if you look, notice my denominators, they are the same, 2 and 2. So when the denominators are the same, when adding or subtracting fractions, you just simply calculate your numerator, okay? So my numerator is a 1 plus 3, that will give me a 4. And you just simply put that back over your common denominator, which is the 2, okay? Now, quickly, that can be simplified. I can say 2 into itself goes once and 2. 2 into 4 goes 2 times. So this is really, my friends, essentially this is really W raised to the second power. And, and that's simply our answer, okay? That's our answer. Hope that these lessons were useful in assisting you in your studies. Feel free to leave a comment or ask a question if you're still not sure, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.